Today I will show, start reviewing the Spanish alphabet but in a different and new way. I have been thinking how I could uh, teach you all the Spanish uh, verbs, the important Spanish verbs and adverbs and nouns, adjectives, so many words that are really useful and uh, frequent in a daily conversation. But there are so many that it's impossible to know how to begin in a, a online video course. So I came up with this idea and I hope it can be helpful. I will start uh, showing one letter at a time, right, beginning from letter A, ending with letter Z or Z, and in every class I will speak, I will mention uh, some Spanish given names in masculine names, Spanish feminine given names, some uh, uh, names of animals that begin with letter A, some names of fruits and uh, eatables that begin with A, names of countries, some adverbs that begin with A, some adjectives, some false friends, false friend words or false cognates that begin with letter A, also some regular verbs and irregular verbs that begin with A. And next class, the following lesson, I will show you how to conjugate the regular and irregular verbs that we've seen in the previous lesson, okay? So I will be t uh, teaching you in each one of these lessons uh, of the alphabet new verbs that begin with that letter and later I will show you how to conjugate them in the present, past, future, right? And perhaps also perhaps also um, present continuous, okay? So, um, this way I hope that uh, although it will be impossible to memorize, right, but at least it's going to uh, add up to your uh, language intuition, right? So, mainly the verbs, how to conjugate them, right? So, let's begin with the first letter, la letra A, right? The letter A. La letra A. Letra for letter is a feminine noun, so the article is la. We will see nombres propios masculinos, which are masculine given names, right? Remember in Spanish, first we, we say the noun and then the adjective that is more directly related to the noun and then comes, if there is any, the other adjective that describes the group, right? Noun and adjective, okay? So we want to say given names, we will say names given. First comes the noun, right? Nombres propios. If then we want to say masculine given names, we will say names given masculine, okay? Nombres propios masculinos. And feminine given names will be nombres propios femeninos. We have animales, which are the animals, although here we will not only see animals, but we'll see um, living beings, right? Animal kingdom or also uh, insects, right? Just some words to add to our vocabulary. Frutas y comestibles. Those are fruits and eatables. Países. Países are countries. Adverbios, adverbs, adjetivos, adjectives, false friends would be falsos amigos, right? Verbos regulares. These are regular verbs and verbos irregulares, irregular verbs. Let's begin. Nombres propios masculinos. We can see typical names that begin with A are Andrés, a masculine name, Andrés, for Andrew, Antonio, Antonio, for Anthony, and Agustín, Agustín, for Agustín, right? All these three are masculine given names. 
We have feminine given names that begin with letter A, as Anna for An, Anna. We have Analia, Analia for Analine, right? And Andrea, I think this would be Andy, right? So we have A Andres would be Andrew, the masculine form, and Andrea would be the feminine form of Andrew, okay? And Andrea is a very, very common Spanish name. Of these three, the least common, the one, uh, would be Analia, right? Andres, Antonio and Agustino, the three of them are very uh, common names. For animals, or, uh, or uh, living creatures, right? We have Águila. Águila means eagle. It's a feminine noun, so it is. it should be la águila. But, since it begins with A, la águila, since it sounds awkward, we say el águila, okay? Antilope, antilope for antelope. And abeja, abeja is a bee, right? La abeja. This is the bee, a feminine noun, la abeja. However, águila, begins, because it begins with A, we say el águila. And abeja, although it begins with A, we say la abeja, right? Both are feminine, but we say el águila and la abeja. Some nouns that are feminine and begin with A, I would say most of them change to the masculine art, uh, article when in singular, el águila, and some other, fewer, still remain with the feminine article, like la abeja. There is, we have a, a specific lesson about this topic. And antilope is a masculine noun, so it is el antilope. Frutas y comestibles. Frutas y comestibles. We can say ananá for pineapple, ananá, ananá, pineapple, but there is another word for pineapple which is used in Spain and some other Latin American countries which is uh, piña, piña, but it begins with P, so I won't uh, say anything else about it now. Arveja, arveja is a green pea, right? We have anchoa, anchoa, which is an anchovy, and Atún. Atún is tuna, the fish. For countries, países, países we have Alemania, which is Germany, Andorra, Andorra, Argelia, and Argentina. Argentina. Watch out the G in Spanish, we don't say Argentina, we say Argentina, right? So J and G sound right? As if you were scratching your, your throat, okay? Argentina. Argelia. Argelia. We have some adverbs that begin with letter A, as ahora, ahora, which means now, ayer, Ayer, which means yesterday. And anoche. Anoche means last night. For adjectives, we can say ácido. Ácido means acid, okay? Also, we, in Spanish, the word ácido, the adjective ácido, can also be used for um, eatables, right? We can say that something is ácido something is sour, okay? We also have the word that is specific for eatables, that is the word agrio, that means sour. But when something is very sour, we say, we can say ácido. We have atento. Atento means attentive or solicitous, right? So atento can be somebody that, um, that's always paying attention, okay? or also can be somebody very solicitous, that's always uh, thoughtful of others, okay? And we have astuto, 